A great day to one and all. I am Kim J.C. Ensho, and today I will be discussing with you Series 2, the sum of consecutive natural numbers and its applications. So for today, I will be discussing with you how to find the sum of the first n natural numbers. And I will be also be presenting to you the conjecture or the formula related to it. And at the same time, I will be presenting other problems that may be used to solve, um, to, to, that you could solve using this uh, conjecture. And we have to be reminded that the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. That was said by Paul Halmos, and I hope that we are all ready for this venture. So are we ready? Let us start. And so before we delve in to the main uh, topic for today, it's important that we have the necessary background knowledge. We have to be reminded or familiarize that the sum of the first n natural numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way until n, is equal to 1 half times the quantity times n times the quantity n plus 1. For example, if you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, so we have here the sum of the first natural, uh, first five natural numbers. By manual counting, like many of us would do it from left to right, let's say we have 1 plus 2, that's 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, that's 10. 10 plus 4, uh, I mean 10 plus 5 equals 15. So the sum of the first five natural numbers is 15. And if we are going to use the formula, one half times n times the quantity n plus one, and since uh, the last natural number in this series is five, so our n will be five. Replacing all n's by five, we have one half times five times the quantity five plus one. Uh, the 5 plus 1 here simplifies to 6, and 5 times 6 is equal to 30. Hence, we have 1 half of 30, and their product is 15. And so we could see here that regardless of using the formula or by manual addition from left to right, we still arrive to the correct answer. And this time, let's have now the actual problem. So I prepared here five problems that could be uh, used. I mean, that will be using this uh, concept. Let's have the first one, a direct application of what I just discussed. Evaluate 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way until plus 44 plus 45. If you wish feel free to pause the video and solve on your own. And if you are ready with your answer, you may uh, resume with the video and check if you have the same answer as I did. All right, with that said, let us now solve or let us now have the solution to this problem. So with such, since we have here uh, one plus two plus three all the way until plus n is equal to one half times n times the quantity n plus one. And with n equals 45, because that's our last number here, and we have 45 natural numbers. So replacing n with 45, we have one plus two plus three all the way until 45 is equal to one half times 45 times the quantity 45 plus one. With such, 45 plus 1 is equal to 46, so the left-hand side was still copied, was still the same, and the right-hand side becomes 1 half times 45 times 46, and this becomes 45 times 23. Why? Because I multiplied the 1 half to, uh, to 46, and 1 half of 46 is 23, or you could just simply divide 46 divided by 2, and that's 23. And by multiplication, we could see that 45 times 23 is 1,035. Hence, we could say 
that 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way until plus 45 is equal to 1,035. I hope you got the correct answer as well. So that's just a warm up. I hope you are ready for the second problem. And for the second problem, let us have the following. What is the sum of all natural numbers from 51 to 90? And so when we speak about natural numbers from 51 to 90, note that it's from, the word here is from, so 51 and 90 are part of the natural numbers that we're looking for, of the sum of, the, of, where, of what we're looking for. So what we're looking for here is the following series. 51 plus 52 plus 53 plus all the way until plus 90. And by the way, before I reveal to you the solution, we have to be reminded that there are many ways of solving this problem. However, for brevity purposes and for the purpose of giving you an application of the formula I presented earlier, the solution that I will be presenting to you will make use of that formula. And feel free to solve. And if you're ready, okay, let's see. So you could see now that we are looking for the sum of the natural numbers from 51 to 90. And to do such, we could actually take the sum of the first 90 natural numbers. That's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way until plus 90. But you could see that this series here does not include the, nat the sum of the first natural numbers, the, of the sum of the natural numbers from 1 to 50. That is why it is necessary to subtract the value of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way until plus 50. Because this expression subtracted by the second expression will in fact result to this series. And since we have now two series that are both sum of natural numbers, and by using the formula for each of these, then we have the following. For the first series, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way until plus 90. Our n here is 90. That's why by using the formula earlier and by substitution, we have 1 half times 90 times 90 plus 1. And for the second series here, we have the sum of the first 50 natural numbers. And hence, our n here has to be 50. And with such, the sum of this is 1 half of 50 times the quantity 50 plus 1 by using the formula earlier. I hope it's clear up to this portion. And simplifying this will result to 45 times 91. How come? Because for this first one, um, I see we could see that 90 is divisible by 2. So 90 divided by 2, we have here 45. And the second one is 90 plus 1, which is 91. So this is just equal to 45 times 91 minus 1 half times 50 is 25 here. And 50 plus 1 is 51. That's why this is just equal to 25 times 51. And uh, using multiplication, we could see that 45 times 91 is 4,095. Whereas 25 times 51 is equal to 1,275. And since we are looking for their difference, then 4,095 minus 1,275 is equal to 2,820. Thus, 51 plus 52 plus 53 plus all the way until 90, or the sum of all natural numbers from 51 to 90 is 2,820. I hope we got it correctly. And if you don't, it's okay. Just keep trying. 
I'm sure that with constant correct practice, we will be able to master or learn these topics. All right. I hope we're geared for the third problem. And for item number three, let's have, what is the sum of all positive multiples of four less than 300? So what is the sum of all positive multiples of four less than 300? When we speak about multiples of four, so it's like you're skip counting with your first term four, like four, eight, 12, and so on. So what is four plus eight plus 12 and so on until the last multiple of four that is less than 300? Please, this, uh, please give this problem a try. And if you are ready, then feel free to continue and let's see if you got it right. Now, let's have the solution to this problem. With such, we could see that we have four plus eight plus 12 plus all the way until plus 296. How come it's until 296 only? Because 296 is the last multiple of, of four the last positive multiple, multiple of four, which is in fact less than 300. And so we have this one. And if you could notice, we could see that four, eight, 12, and 296 have a greatest common factor of four, right? And hence, um, by factoring out the greatest common factor, so we have here 4, and dividing each term of this series by 4, we have 4 divided by 4, we have 1, 8 divided by 4, we have 2, 12 divided by 4, we have 3, and so on until 296 divided by 4, which is 74. Hence, this expression here is equal to 4 times the quantity the sum of one, two, three, all the way until 74. So it's four times the sum of the first 74 natural numbers. And since this is a sum of natural numbers, so uh, by using the formula, this is four, our n here has to be 74 because this is the last number and in the fact that there are also 74 uh, terms in this series. So this is equal to one half, times 74 times 74 plus 1 or simply 75. Now, we could see that from here, I divided 4 divided by 2. It's 2 or 4 times 1 half, it's 2. And I just copied the 74 and 75 here. Hence, this expression is equal to 2 times 74 times 75. And by multiplying this, we get a product of 11,100. With this, we could say that the sum of all positive multiples of four less than 300 or four plus eight plus 12 plus all the way until plus 296 is 11,100. All right, thank you. Let's proceed to the fourth problem. We have I prepared five problems here. Let's go to the second to the last one. Problem number four. If P equals one plus three plus five plus 